You got a prime lens, you got a zoom lens, you see all these fancy words everywhere. What the heck do they mean? Well, let's find out. What is going on everybody? If you're new around here, my name is Finn Badgley. I'm a commercial fashion and portrait photographer and today I'm going to be walking you through the difference of a prime lens to a zoom lens and why you might want to pick one over the other. Now, especially if you're just starting out, a lot of these terms can be very intimidating. You see them used a lot online, you see them used by different professionals, and it can get very confusing and very overwhelming very quickly. But fear not, here is a simple, easy way to understand either one and kind of guide you towards why you would want to use one over the other. So getting into the kind of nerdy talk, a prime lens is a lens that has a fixed focal length. For example, this 85 millimeter right here. It is just 85. It does not move at all. It is 85. That's what you got. Whereas this lens here is a 70 to 200. So you're starting from your zoom range at 70 and going all the way through to 200. Any kind of zoom lens has a range in its focal length from 24 to 70, 70 to 200, 16 to 35, anything like that. There's a range of focal lengths there. Now you might be thinking, okay, that 70 to 200 has 85 in it, so why even bother with the 85? Well, here's one of the big things, because they don't have a zoom range, typically the prime lenses are able to have a faster aperture, a wider aperture where you get into 1.8, 1.4, 1 1.2, etc. Meaning not only are you gonna have a shallower depth of field, you're also going to be able to let more light in and use it in lower light situations, which is why a lot of people in low light will gravitate towards a prime lens over a zoom and a big reason why a lot of people will choose a prime lens over a zoom is image quality typically because it is just one focal length and there's not really as many moving parts they have a bit of a sharper image this is more the case when you get into the really expensive prime lenses but whenever you put a decent chunk of money into any lens Typically, you're gonna get amazing image quality out of it regardless. Now, on the flip side, you might go towards a zoom because it is more versatile. It can be used in a lot of different settings, and especially if you're on the go, kind of run and gun, you'll want to have that range there instead of switching lenses every five seconds. This is why a lot of wedding shooters and event shooters will go towards zooms over primes because you can just you don't need to worry about swapping a lens and then missing something now with that said there is not really one answer of this is better than this always go with this regardless of what people tell you it just comes down to what works best for you and what works best for your workflow for my work personally i use a lot of zooms because i'm usually on the go kind of running around a bit getting a lot of different shots as we go and I need a lot of versatility out of a lens, which is why I go with the zooms. Now, that said, any kind of stationary product work, anything like that that I do, that's when I'll break out the primes because I want to be exact and precise and have everything locked down. I'm not gonna really be moving around a whole lot. The camera's locked off on a tripod. I got a studio set up. Everything's contained, controlled, and I can slow down a bit which is also one of the things that a prime will allow you to do especially if you're just starting out i recommend playing around with primes because they require you to move your feet and not rely on zooming in and out which can distort the image in the long run these lenses allow you to slow down kind of compose your shot more carefully and think about things as you go Rather than kind of zooming in and out and in and out and hoping that it looks good, you're able to sit there, take a moment, take a couple steps back, compose your shot, think about it, and get it right the first time. Now that said, with experience, you learn the kind of focal length you want for different shots and you're gonna move yourself accordingly to get that. And even though you'll see a bunch of advice online of, oh, you should always use primes, oh, you should always use zooms, Really, it doesn't matter, and me personally, I don't care 
what you use as long as it works for you and at the end of the day you're happy with it. This equipment is not cheap and I see too many times people going out there buying a lens thinking it will be the perfect thing for them and it just doesn't work for their workflow and it doesn't suit their style so in the end it's a loss. That's not what I want to happen to any of you and that's partially why I'm making this now to kind of help you guys in that process. And even with my own advice of using a 35, 85, any of that, take that with a grain of salt as well. That's what works for me, but it might not be what works for you. And that is absolutely okay. There's no one right answer. There's no one solution for anything. You gotta kind of figure it out as you go and figure out what works for you. Now, with all that said, if you enjoyed this video, if you got something out of it, drop a like. It makes a difference. I appreciate it. Leave a comment if you like this kind of thing, if you want to see more of it from me in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos, and I will see you on the next one.